my wife got sick. She was in the hospital, and I had a three-year-old daughter in my arms. My busy work schedule did not allow me to take care of the child. I had to ask my mother-in-law to help me in my need. She agreed and moved in with us for a while. I came home late from work, played with my daughter, and socialized with my mother-in-law. Evelyn is an interesting woman. She gave birth to my wife, barely 18 years old, and now she was in her prime. Quiet, kind, we quickly established a friendly relationship. She and I have a difference in age is not so big, only 11 years. The point is that my wife is seven years younger than me. While Julia was in the hospital, my mother-in-law took care of my daughter, cooked, ran the household. That's how we lived. One night, I came home and Evelyn, and I went into the bathroom to bathe the baby. Amelia was in the bathtub making a storm, as usual. The wet robe clung to her mother-in-law's figure, which was very attractive. Her mother-in-law's figure resembled Julia's, only larger, but that made her even more beautiful, gave her the charm of a mature woman. And their faces are similar. Sometimes they look like two sisters, the younger and the older. My mother-in-law's wet body made me think of sin, especially since I hadn't had a woman for a long time. But my mother-in-law, sensing my interest in her, quickly calmed Amelia, took her out of the stormy ocean and sent us to bed, saying that she had to change into dry clothes. After putting Amelia to bed, I went into the kitchen. My daughter was asleep and Evelyn and I were sitting in the kitchen. We opened a bottle of wine and quietly discussed life's problems. My mother-in-law began to say how happy she was for her daughter, what a good husband she had gotten loving, attentive, caring, affectionate. She even said that she and Julia were very close and shared all their secrets, so she even knew how we did in bed. How lucky Julia was to have such a husband who would wash a woman in the bathtub, carry her to bed in his arms, give her flowers and all kinds of kisses. My mother-in-law had only seen such things in the movies. According to her, she lived her life with a drunk who never said a kind word, just yelled. He'd come home drunk and go to bed. In a close relationship, he's like a bear. No kisses or affectionate words. The mother-in-law said, tears streaming down her cheeks, her lips curving into a bitter grin, her nose reddened. She sobbed, wiped her tears, and I began to comfort the woman, telling her that everything would get better, that everything would work out. At some point, we looked at each other and realized that we could not resist our instincts. Emotions flared between us, and we did it right there in the kitchen. When we finished, we were shocked at what had happened. But we quickly got over it and realized that it wasn't worth going against our feelings. We moved into the bedroom, and while my wife was in the hospital, my mother-in-law took her place in the bedroom. When Julia returned, my mother-in-law had gone home. I don't know what my wife talked to my mother-in-law about and what she told her, but Julia started sending me to my mother's house regularly to help her, and she did it on those days when we couldn't be close to each other. When I came back, she never asked me anything. After a while, Julia herself confessed to me that she had pushed mom into our bed, that she was a little jealous, but when she saw how mom was blossoming, she was happy for her and did not regret what she had done. After all, she and I have enough, and sometimes my activity is even unnecessary. Enough and mom and mom is very grateful to her daughter for her permission to use the surplus. Only Julia is worried that I will get used to mom and fall out of love with her. I assure her that no one in the world is more precious to me than she and Amelia. About a year later, Julia got pregnant again, and then my mother-in-law. And now Amelia had a sister, and a brother who was also her uncle.